Hi, this is Dr. Anderson from Anderson Podiatry Center, and I'm here with Ken, and he's got pretty bad restless legs, and many of you that are watching may know that we surgically are able to, to get rid of tight nerve tunnel compression in the legs to get rid of restless legs. We feel a lot of it's mechanical. It has more to do with tightness of nerves in the legs, and uh, Ken came here from Montana, and I'm going to show you something, and hopefully you'll see this. <laughs> As we do, because I found this just examining him. This is the first day that we met face to face, and I was doing my exam. But I want to show you something. When I'm here in the leg, I'm going to be pressing in this area of his leg. There's a nerve tunnel there called the superficial perineal nerve. And it seems as though when I press, tap, or press along the, the length of this nerve, he'll jerk. So he's not jerking now. But we're going to see if he does it. If he cooperates, but he involuntarily will jerk. So let's see if it, if it happens. So I'm pressing, pressing there, did a little bit. I'm going to come down again. There. Do you see? I mean, you can see it goes all the way up his leg. Do it again. Not as much. That's probably maybe three times of pressing our luck. <laughs> there, did it again. So anyway. Here's my point. Here's my point. I'm putting more pressure on that nerve. This there's a nerve tone here called the superficial perineal nerve. Okay, superficial perineal nerve. I'm suggesting because surgeries that we do oftentimes will work that that tone is tight. Well, if I'm pushing on nerve tone that's already tight, it's aggravating that nerve even more. And this is all just hypothetical theory. But I think what's going on that remains to be proven is that's causing kind of a reflex reaction in his back and is causing it's like a noxious stimulation it's something that's uncomfortable he doesn't like it it's annoying and his response that he can't control is it's like a reflex and so he's just reflexively jerking his leg but it's stimulated because i'm pushing on that nerve tunnel so just a thought i've seen it i don't see it on everybody i see it on a few people and i wanted to share that with you because it's one more thing i, I would call it an anecdotal bit of information, I think, helps you to understand that really, folks, for many of you, this is a compression problem, and there's really a lot of hope that if you're suffering from pseudo-restless legs like Ken is, <laughs> that there can be some hope for you by opening up these nerve tunnels. So, uh, appreciate him taking the time to do this, and we're breaking him in with the video. <laughs> we just He's been here today, and I really appreciate uh, him coming down from Montana. Uh, if you have any questions, please consider subscribing to our channel, comments, questions you have, I really appreciate that. And also do what Ken did. He read our book called A Perfect Night's Sleep. Helped him understand a little bit more about why this can work and why we really believe this is a concept that needs to be considered as another option for your restless legs. So thank you for watching.